What's up ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Pokemon video. That's right, Pokemon Sun and Moon might seem like a really, really weird choice of a video today, especially on a channel that's primarily Destiny that has some Overwatch content. You're going to see some Overwatch gameplay in the background. With Zenyatta, Zenyatta is still pretty cool. But whenever I got home from work today, I was just looking on Facebook and I saw some information about Pokemon Sun and Moon releasing 14 new Pokemon, or maybe some changes on some existing Pokemon that we already know and love. And I'll just get to those in a little bit. I'll start off with some of the new Pokemon and then get to some of my favorites at the end. I am absolutely not crazy enough to go ahead and put Nintendo's trailer here in my video. I'm even slightly worried about showing off the images here. I do not want to get any type of strikes or copyright claims, quote unquote claims, from Nintendo, even though this is clearly a fair use thing, but I'm not even going to press my luck. I'm definitely not putting even a second of the trailer in here. If you want to actually see the trailer, if you're a big Pokemon fan, I'm going to go ahead and link the official trailer in the description box below, and you can go ahead and watch it over there. It's pretty interesting. So you're like, kid, this makes no sense. This is Destiny. This is first person shooter. Why Pokemon? Well, I actually played Pokemon a lot. For some reason, whenever I was a sophomore in college, I decided one day that I was going to go out and buy a Game Boy Color and purchase Pokemon Yellow. That was my first experience in Pokemon, and I had a ton of fun. I had a lot of fun. I got so into it, I started learning about the IVs and learning to check to see how my actual IVs were in my Pokemon. I actually had a perfect 15 IV Executor and I ended up using him in Pokemon Stadium. He was absolutely amazing with Psychic because pretty much Psychic was just unbeatable back in that RBY days. Whenever Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal came out, I ended up buying Silver and I played that a whole lot and that's whenever I started going on GameFAQs forum and posting online about that. I started learning about the online Pokemon battle simulators on MIRC and Pokebattle, all those things. I ended up having a couple characters that I ended up using that were some of my specialty characters. The Kidzor and Gyrate, the Gyarados, which were awesome. They had Substitute and Leftovers, and I just loved Gold, Silver, and Crystal. Those were by far my favorite of all the generations. I also ended up buying Ruby and Emerald and Sapphire. I bought two different Game Boy Advances in order to have different consoles or handhelds in order to transfer my Pokemon between them. <laughs> so I had a good time, but after that I kind of fell out. There just seemed to be a lot of different changes and it was difficult in grinding the perfect Pokemon because you really had to just kind of keep your Pokemon at bay and not utilize them in every fight because you were only wanting to get, you know, special attack IVs on your special attackers, or they were called EVs at that time. And you only wanted to attack ones on the guys that you wanted to attack. Then they had the special and attack split, and it got a little bit different. So I kind of fell out of it. But seeing some of this awesome stuff on Sun and Moon just makes me just harken back to the fun days of Pokemon whenever you would just find all this new information and all these different characters. And that's one of the things that I love. It's one thing that I love about Overwatch. It's one thing that I love about Destiny. I love playing different characters. So obviously, gotta catch them all. <laughs> Here's a lot of characters in Pokemon. So I guess that's just a little bit of a history lesson on some other games that I've played over my course of gaming. And you know, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different things. A lot of secrets here with KC Kid. So call this a mixed up Monday. We're gonna get into some Pokemon stuff. Let's take a look at some of these brand new Pokemon that are coming out. Starting off, we've got a pre-evolution, Mudbray. And this looks like this is a ground type Pokemon. So obviously it's going to be weak to ice and water and grass. And you know what, I should probably not even talk about some of these things because there are some different elements in Pokemon that have changed since I last played, and who knows if they actually changed the type chart. So if they happen to change any of the type chart at all and made something weak or strong against things that it wasn't before, just kind of take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> but this actually looks pretty cool. His evolution, I ended up looking that up, and it looks pretty awesome. Obviously, this thing is going to want to carry Earthquake. If it's as strong as they say it's going to be, this thing will probably be a monster with Stab and with Earthquake. We've also got an evolution. There's a Pokemon called Youngoos, and his evolution Gumshoes was shown off, and he is a normal type Pokemon that has Stakeout and Strong Jaw. Now whenever we see normal type Pokemon, chances are these are your Rattatas and your Pidgeys, 
the Pokemon that you're going to see early on in the game, and you're probably going to see and catch a whole bunch of them. There aren't tons and tons of high level normal Pokemon, but there obviously are some. We've seen Curselax and Curse Tank. We've also seen Zangoose with Flail and Bellylax, so who knows, maybe it will become viable. As far as another new Pokemon that we've got, we've got a Rock and Flying type Minior, which looks a lot like Soul Rock and Lunatone. Who knows, maybe this is their baby. And it's pretty cool, it's got an ability where its defense and defensive capabilities are going to be pretty high whenever it's got over 50% health, and whenever it drops below 50%, it's going to change and have more of an attack type value Pokemon. So that's pretty neat. We also have this new bird type Pokemon that comes in four different types. Sensu is Ghost and Flying, which sounds absolutely amazing. Pau ends up being Psychic and Flying, which is a pretty cool combination. Pom Pom is Flying and Electric, and Bale is Fire and Flying. So those look pretty awesome. What they end up doing is dancing. They're all about the dancing. And they all have an ability where they can pretty much copy the dance moves of other enemies. So I'm guessing things like Swords Dance or Dragon's Dance, that could pretty much be a pretty potent ability. I mean, why not let your opponent boost you up and then start sweeping them? Finally, we have two other Grass-type Pokemons, Fomantis and Lurantis, and they ended up showcasing this crazy Solar Blade Grass move which looks to be really, really strong. It looked really strong. It was pretty impressive. So that was pretty awesome. Those were the brand new Pokemon that were out there. They were all brand new to me, but what I loved was seeing these Alola forms of existing and former Pokemon. Some original Pokemon back in the game, like Exeggutor. It ends up looking like a freaking giraffe. It looks like a literal palm tree with a dinosaur body on it. It's absolutely crazy looking. And what it is, is it's actually grass and dragon, which is awesome. An Exeggutor that's a dragon type? Pretty slick. Especially if Exeggutor is still rocking out this ridiculous special attack stat that he's always carried around with him. Though grass and dragon? Watch out for those ice types. Holy crap, you're gonna be extremely weak to those. Extremely weak. But Exeggutor, it looks insane, but it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. If you like your Pokemon with a little bit of crazy, I think the Palm Tree Pool is probably for you. Now moving on from the grotesque to the grotesquely cute, we've got Vulpix as an ice type. That's right, no longer fire as far as the Alola form goes. Vulpix as an ice type. In Nine Tails, let's call them Ice Tails. Why not? Why not? Ice Tails, as in Ice and Fairy type. Like I said, new types into the game. Fairy is definitely a type that I am not familiar with. I don't know how that ends up working in the game, so you have to forgive me on that. Hopefully, hopefully it's a benefit. But a Nine Tails, as in Ice type, pretty slick. Never thought that would happen. Speaking of which, we've also got Sand Slash and Sand True as Ice and steel. So no longer ground, ice, and steel in their Alola forms. Watch out for fire. Watch out for fighting. That is definitely not a defensive powerhouse at all, despite having that steel typing. But pretty slick. I really like these new forms of old Pokemon. That's pretty cool. I think that's a nice way to kind of bridge the gap between new and nostalgia. Because take a look at the Pokemon that are there. They're all the original 151 Pokemon. Exeggutor, Ninetales, Vulpix, Sandshrew, Sandslash. That's the way to get people to really care about the game. People that were interested in the game long ago, seeing those things can get them really interested in your new game. I mean, look, it made me do a video. It made me do a video. So I'm sure it's going to work on other people as well. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Check out these awesome videos. Thanks for stopping by on this Mixed Up Monday, and I'll see you around in Pokemon. Sun and Moon. Crazy Exeggutor.